So it's been a while. And it's been a while since we did a video like this, guys. Like this, I'm pumped for it. I'm pumped, man. <laughs> okay, so pros and cons. Goals Gym. I've not been to that gym actually a while, but I do recall with Don Larson, the owner of Goals Gym, and what he says about it, as well as what I thought about it. When back when I was there in March 2020. So I have some pros and cons here. First one is price to an extent. So I believe it was like in between the 20 and 30 dollar range, but it got up to about 75 dollars to be a member there. I thought that was a little much. I I, I thought it was it was a, the sweet spot was like the 40, the 50, eh, maybe man, not even that. Maybe, maybe like 30 to 40 range. 70 is charging a little much. You're getting into like you know the equinoxes and lifetimes there, which you know they probably offer a little bit more than than what Gold's Gym did offer. So yeah, so those gyms do offer a little bit more than Gold's Gym does, but I still. I think it just falls the sweet spot's probably in like the 30 to 40 range for that specific fitness club. And I I just I can't get over how people think that a 24 hour gym is like not an advantage. Like it's it, it just doesn't matter. Like a 24 hour gym matters. Like being a member one for quite a while now, I can say for myself that 24 hours is so nice. Ugh, and being Gold's Gym, being the mecca of gyms, I, I, I typically think that this is just a 24 hour uh, kind of luxury to have, especially here with all the equipment, uh, you know, even the sauna, locker rooms, you know, like anytime fitness has 24 hours, but it doesn't have like the extent of the equipment that Gold's Gym has. Not saying that one gym is better than the other, but considering that this is a, a much bigger one, a much broader spectrum as far as what you can do at the gym it's 24 hours is going to give me an advantage for sure so equipment was actually plentiful i equipment was very plentiful there they had everything i could probably want and get to great, get a great workout in and then some having said that there's also some cons that come to that which is crowded spaces you, there wasn't enough there wasn't a lot of room to move but there was enough room to where i could still work out and work out comfortably it's not like any kind of gym where it's just like so close together that's like suffocating although it was quite annoying i could see how when it gets packed that can be absolute nightmare especially at the dumbbell rack Ugh. dumbbells went up heavy but I could see how just the crowdedness in the evenings and the mornings could just be a nightmare. Which is actually a kind I want to get into here. And the cons uh, I'm going to get into here right now. And that is one of them. This this place now, this is just the one I was at. And it seems like Gold's Gyms all over the country actually have the same kind of trend. Now, if yours is not like that, let me know. But these places get so packed and if you have machines like together like that it's going to be so tough to move around and get a great workout in i'm telling you it's going to be just an absolute nightmare i don't like that at all whatsoever that, that that's my one gripe so either find a bigger space or just do something with that because that's just annoying second one is not a lot of locations in michigan they have one location and that is in detroit don't get me wrong it is a nice location it's not bad by any means it's just it's the only one it's the only one in the area and i wish they have more i wish they would invest more money into certain areas and you know don larson is, is the guy who even opened it up and he's the one who believed in gold's gym in michigan and it seems like it's doing pretty dang well right now as far as what i can tell and what he can tell as well they're still in business they're still doing well I, i'm pretty sure i have to actually i've not touched up with him in a while i have to do that but um i it seems like they're doing well. Guys, real quick, I want to give a huge shout out to Lucas Afonso. Lucas, thank you for smashing that subscribe button, bro. I appreciate you supporting what I do. If you guys want the opportunity to be shouted out in one of my future videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button, man. I shout out random subscribers every single video and you do not want to miss it. Also, a lot of y'all are not subbing. You are not subscribed. Uh, just subscribe, man. All right. Once again, I appreciate all of y'all for watching my videos and uh, back to the video. It seems like overall the gym is still staying on its feet. Now, obviously, they're probably going to have some struggles, but that's okay. Otherwise, I know they've closed down a lot of locations across the U.S. And it's been pretty tough on them. But hopefully in the near future, they can open up more locations. 
and especially here in Michigan because I would really actually really like to go there as long as they like, let me film but regardless uh, cons are you know and also I, I, I will say this I would like to see now it was clean now it was very clean but I would like to see a little bit more cleanliness as far as that goes now when I was there it's it was clean but I would like to see a little more and also the carpet this once again when I was at the carpet was annoying too I, I don't like the carpet in gyms really at all I, I like the gym floor but uh, that's kind of all I got guys for this video uh, if you guys did enjoy it I appreciate it. if you love it like comment share and subscribe man subscribe you guys did enjoy for many content of this video sure like and subscribe but re remember, if you do not subscribe, I will cancel your gym membership. So, so, so sub, man. Sub or else boo it out. <laughs> see you guys. See you, bro. See you in the next video. Bye.